Hi, this is Patrick with STH. Today we're going to show that the Intel Atom C3000 series works with Proxmox VE 5.0 out of the box. The Intel Atom C3000 series is the new embedded platform from Intel that will take the place of the Intel Atom C2000 series launched in 2013. This new series will have 2 to 16 cores. It will have up to 20 high-speed I.O. lanes that can be used for either PCIe or SATA 3. It will have quick assist on some SKUs and up to four 10 gig ports on the SOC. So on the software side, why Proxmox VE? Well, it's an open source hyperconverged platform built on Debian Linux that supports high-end virtualization storage and networking features. It has a web GUI for easy administration and also powerful CLI tools. The clustering features are built in to the solution. And one of the reasons that we're seeing it grow in popularity is that startups can build a cluster and then go get commercial support for it. For this demo, we're using a Supermicro platform. We loaded the Proxmox VE installer onto our motherboard via IPMI. We're going through the very simple setup instructions, which should take about a minute. And after this initial configuration, what will happen is we will have to reboot the server and we'll have a functioning hypervisor set up. We're going to speed through the actual file installation and then the reboot that's required. This is a very simple setup. If you do need help figuring out how to make it work, the Server the Home forums are a great resource where you can find others that have set up Proxmox VE multiple times and in fairly large clusters. The overall installation and reboot takes only a few minutes. The nice thing is that Proxmox VE 5.0 works out of the box because it's on a newer Linux kernel. Once Proxmox has booted up, you'll be greeted with a login screen as well as the IP and port information that you set up. We'll bring up the web GUI and you can see that we can log on no problem. This is an important step because it shows that the NICs are working out of the box. We can also show by logging into the CLI that the disks on different ports, including the NVMe Optane drive, are showing up. And we can verify that we're actually on the highest end 16 core Intel Atom C3955 SKU. One of the advantages of being on a current Linux kernel is that even the newest hardware released this week works out of the box. Thank you for watching. Take some time to visit the STH main site, check out other videos we have, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.